Anthony Grillo, Dees, Lutz. In today's simple lesson, by the time it's over, you're going to be able to track and isolate a subject or object in your clip and color grade it separately from the rest of the clip. So that is what we're doing today. So the first thing is first, is we're going to convert our clip into BMD film, which is basically raw as it gets. So we'll create the serial nodes, we'll create Alt S, we'll create four of them, and we'll leave them there for now. Going back into serial node number one, we're going to apply our power window by going into uh, window, which is one, two, three over, clicking on the round, because our faces are more round than square, I would imagine. Let's go dead center to the nose. Let's pull it up here to her face, right to the edge of her chin line. We'll feather it out just a bit, just a bit. There we go. Look at that happy face. That's such a such a happy face. So you can see we've isolated the face over here in the gray. So now what we need to do is we, since we have movement, we have to track the movement. And luckily for us, uh, the engineers at, at DaVinci Resolve uh, really put together a beautiful tracking algorithm. So without further ado, make sure you're at the beginning of the clip. You're going to hit forward. And don't worry, I won't make you watch the whole thing. But it's just generally going to show you how it works and how how cool you'll look in front of your friends once you activate this cool mask and you can say, hey, look what I'm doing. Check me out. So, you know, it, it will take a few maybe minutes if it's a long clip if you're tracking. It's not very fast, as you can tell. So we'll, 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 we'll do a little jump, jump clipping here, jump editing to uh, the end now. All right, now that we're winding up towards the forward end, we have to do the same thing in reverse, but it's just a simple click of a button. Over here, we just hit click that, and it'll start to go backwards and retrack to make sure it does it properly. So we're just gonna track it in the end here. Once it gets to the end, we'll begin our grading. All right, guys, so we're back, and now we tracked all the way forward, and now all the way back. So you can see uh, exactly what it's done. If you don't wanna see the window, over here, if you click on it, you can turn the window off so you don't have to see it anymore. We're just going to leave it on for now. So without further ado, let's go into serial node number four. We're going to apply uh, a really cool LUT uh, named Hyde Park from James Miller. We're going to go with the plus two and throw it on there because I think it's a really, really nice uh, beginning to a color grade. But I don't like what it does to the face. So without further ado... Let's crank down the gain on the Hyde Park to say about 80%. All right, what do you say? We'll call it 80% right here, okay? We'll call it 80%. You could dial it down, personal preference, but I think 100 is a little too much for us. So let's go back into serial node number one where we've isolated the face. And we shall go into our um, primaries, but using the bar. So you could pull up on the gain, just the... Just the uh, the white bar and pull it up on to we're just bringing some some uh, white back into the face right so we're isolating the image now from what we see on our face so a quick change there and we got we, we start from there and wound up right there which is a really nice thing to do uh to isolate the face so it doesn't become uh too much of the the scene and we, we start to lose you know, her face and the rest of the grade. So it obviously, I think it's probably a little too much, so we can pull it down a little bit, but this is just a tutorial video on how to do it uh, if you run across this issue or you wanted to learn how to isolate something that you didn't want colored the same way as the image. This is how that gets done. So now that we have that worked out, we can pull down the shadows a bit on her face if we wanted to bring it a little bit darker. You know, you can start to find something really, really nice here. So let's go into serial node number two where we uh, adjust, we could do our color adjustments here, our temperature adjustments. We could do a little color boost, which is always nice. So let's let's start at about 15-ish, let, let, it, let it catch up to itself and see how well that starts to look. And if we turn off node number one, you can see how much nicer it is to have her face not become so much of the Hyde Park lot. So that's what I love about being able to isolate uh, and track the face. So now that as we play it out, and it's beautiful, three to five frames per second, hello. So now that we have that, you can see how glorious 
and how nice it starts to really look for us, right? Would you agree? I would agree. I would agree with myself here, and I don't generally do that. I usually argue a lot with myself. But a little quick little Alt and D will show us a before and an after. That's where we started. Alt D will bring it back with the Hyde Park and the adjustments. So, so, so nice. So nice. I, I do love it. Let's add a 2.39 uh, aspect ratio on top of this. Let's go into zero node number three. And like I said, guys, if you're in node number two here, this is really a matter of personal preference. If you want it warmer or colder, you're more than welcome to you know raise the temperature up to a warmer tone if, if that's what you're looking for, if that's what the scene calls for, or if it's a little bit more chilly, a little bit more on the cooling side, you know, you're more than welcome to bring it down to that, that portion. But all the while, isolating the face and making sure that we don't lose the face. We want the face, that the face is what we're looking for. It's our subject, right? We're just creating an atmosphere. Uh, so you'll know number three, all we're gonna do is sharpen this, sharpen it up, um, and then call it a day. And I appreciate you guys so much for watching, but there's, you know, this is worth just one video by itself. So make sure you guys can understand the the ideology behind a, um, a isolation and tracking of a subject. And that is where we'll end it today. We'll make it a bit full frame for you guys so you can see how nice that is. It's so very nice. So, so nice. Isn't it nice? Thumbs up for nice, right? So thank you, James Miller. Thank you, engineers at DaVinci Resolve. I am Anthony Grillo. This is a after and this is a before. And we are done for the day. And how much better is this now? I mean, honestly, how nice. And how good of a camera this, is this still doing? out there in the world. I'm sure it's doing wonderfully. I'm Anthony Grillo. Thank you so very much for watching. We'll see you guys next time on Tease Lutz.